Hey guys, today we're gonna to talk about the RTT, Communicate by Tactical Radio, or using an ASIP radio. So before you begin, um, I'm gonna, we're gonna talk through what each of the individual pieces are of the radio and how to assemble it. When I did the RTT, we had to assemble the radio, but I have heard of people showing up and not having to. It's not on the task list that you have to assemble it, but in the event that you do have to assemble one, I'll walk you through it. So first thing you're gonna do is when you get to the station, um, they're gonna get, there's like five radios, six radios out on the table. They're gonna grab you all and they're gonna say, okay guys, today the task is to communicate by a tactical radio. Task conditions. You are a member of a team and are given an operational ASIP radio and an operational distance station. Test standards. Within five minutes, the ranger sends a secure communications check in single channel mode with the distance station. Candidate then sends a 10, 10 to 20 word message using proper radio procedures with 100% accuracy to distance station. So those are gonna be standards. That's what you have to do. And it says operational radio, which means it's already assembled. Again, however, it doesn't take long for me to show you that. So I'm just gonna walk you through assembling it. So, They'll give you a list of freaks also. But here's what you're gonna see. So you've got your antenna, you've got your hand mic, battery, and the actual radio. Pretty simple. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip your radio over so you get to the battery compartment. You're gonna lift this little plunger up, spin it 90 degrees, and that comes off. Then you're gonna take your battery and putting the female end, which this is a brand new battery, so I gotta pull that off. Putting the female end closest to the male plug, you're going to just drop the battery in the compartment, plug it in, then there's like a little groove here that slides under a little channel right here. So you're just gonna set that in there, slide it in all the way, push the plunger back down. Now you've got your, you should have power. Before you start assembling all this, turn the radio on right away because it takes a little bit for it to like load up. Okay, the next thing you wanna do is on your hand mic, just take your finger, put a little spit on it, Wipe it around that O-ring seal in there. That helps put it on a little easier. You're just gonna line up this flat part of the channel at the top of the radio, push and spin. Okay, then your antenna. You'll see there's two little slots in the sides here. And if you look in the channel, you'll see two little slots in there. Line those two little slots up. and then just screw the antenna on. That's it, that's assembling the radio. All right guys, so now that we've got our radio assembled, you're gonna go about the business of installing the frequencies. So the first thing we have to do is you'll notice the radio is on the on mode, not the load mode. So. Go ahead and flip it to the load mode. See how the arrow is pointing to load, LD. Now it's on load. So I'm just turning the light on so it makes it a little easier to see. But you'll go into your menu and you'll just keep hitting the menu button, which is this one here, until you get to the mode right here where it says frequency hop. And you're gonna change that to single channel. Then you'll press Menu again, and now it's on ComSec for cipher text, which we're not gonna use. We're gonna use plain text. So single channel, plain text. Now you've set the radio in its proper selection for what you're going to use. Now you need to set the actual frequencies in the radio. So the way you're gonna do that is you're gonna be given a list of 
three channels and various like volume and stuff like that, right? So you'll get your three channels and you just need to program those three first. So you'll hit frequency, then you're gonna hit clear. And the first frequency they gave you is 81,000, 81,000. Then you're gonna hit this stow button. That's channel one. Then you'll hit channel two. So frequency. Well, so now we need to go to channel two. So you'll hit menu twice to channel two, then frequency, you need to clear it. Then they gave you 55,000. Store it, S-T-O. Then we need to go to channel three. Frequency, clear it. Third frequency they gave you is 57,900. So 57,900. Store it. Then that's it. To go back to channel one, you just hit menu twice, press channel one. Because they'll tell you what, like when you go to take the test, they're going to ask you, hey, you go to setting two, you go to channel one, you go to channel three. They'll tell everybody to go to different channels to make sure that, and it's random. It's just to make sure that you know what you're doing, right? But they're also going to give you, like on that list, they're going to give you different power levels and different volumes to make sure you know what you're doing. So I just wanted to walk through the frequencies at first, but once you get good at this, you can do all of them at the same time. So to do that, to change those other things, you're just going to hit the menu. Oh, now I cleared it out. Store it. So now you're going to go menu and just keep cycling through menu. So now we're on channel one. The power is low. So they told us for channel one, they want the power to be high. So you're just going to hit the seven button to change it to power high. Perfect. The next thing they tell you is they want the volume to be volume eight. So once you get to the volume um, category, you're just going to hit the number eight button. That's volume eight. Perfect. Then we're going to go to channel two and change their settings. So they said they want power high and volume five. So cycle through our menu. Power's on high. Volume's on five. Perfect. Okay. Now channel three, they said they want the power on medium and the volume of six. So, go to channel three, power's on medium, so it, right now it's on high, so we're going to change that to M for medium, and then want the volume of six, so we'll change that to six, and that's it. Now, the last thing you need to know before you're going to transmit anything is, again, you've got to flip this from the load station one category to the on station now we're ready to transmit then they're gonna say um all right that's when they'll say all right you go to channel two and call in a uh, radio check so then you'll have to go in change yours to channel two I would verify that it's on the things that they want. So channel two, they want to power high, volume five. So it's not that simple where it's not, it's not going to hold your, like the power and the volume setting, it's not going to hold that when you program it. It's only going to do what you last told it to do. So you'll have to change that before you call in your radio frequent or your radio check. And then once you're there, you'll just look at the RI and say, hey, are you ready? And he'll say, yep, good to go. Send it. You'll key the mic, pushing the button on the side, and you'll say, uh, Ranger 1, this is Ranger 2, radio check, over. And then they'll either call you back on the hand mic and say, Roger, out, or read you Liam Charlie, something they'll let you know, or they'll just hear you key up, because they have theirs on the speaker, 
and they'll say, you're good, disassemble your radio. So that's it. That's all there is to it. Embitter's super simple, guys. So again, biggest things, make sure you go to load. Then to adjust the frequency, you're just gonna hit frequency, clear, whatever frequency you want. So for this case, let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, you can't do that. So we're gonna go three, four, five, hundred. So 34, 500, that's what we're putting in. Then you're gonna hit STO for store. That's how you load it. Then if you want a new, so that's on channel two because it says it right here, channel two. So say you wanna to go to channel, now we're gonna to go to channel three and we're gonna put in 96, 800. So you'll hit your frequency, clear it, 90, well, you can't do 96, apparently. So 86, 800. Store. Now we wanna load channel four with 45,000. So menu, channel four, frequency, clear it, 45, zero, 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 store. That's it, that, all that is the ASIP, nothing to it. All right guys, so that's the ASIP. Um, it's a pretty simple RTT. You almost hear nobody failing, um, either the embitter or the ASIP radio RTT. They're just, they're really simple. So um, the biggest thing to remember is you have to go to load when you are loading the frequencies and then going back to on when you call it up and then changing the power and the volume setting according to the sheet, there'll be sheets on the table. So changing the power and the volume setting according to the sheets that they have like down. Those are probably gonna be the biggest thing to get people no-goes. Um, but like I said, almost nobody no-goes the radio. So hopefully this little walkthrough helped you. Um, if there's anything you guys would like to see in the future, just let me know, leave a comment. Um, any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know and I'll address them as I, as I can. So anyhow, guys, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.